Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today we want to take a look at a couple of legend attacks because, uh, well, we are still pushing and I just attacked the number 8 guy in the world so I thought let's just do a legend league video for today. We're still using Queen Charge Hybrid but with a small twist because we do not have super wall breakers right now and all of you guys who are pushing with hybrid or like pushing without the um, super wall breakers know it's kind of annoying at some point. So yeah, this is what we're about to do today. One quick reminder and that's the qualifier. Today we have still the qualifier going on for the Clash Worlds Championship. It's the third qualifier and well, Maxi and me are going to stream that in German. We're not going to stream that in English, but in German, just so you guys know if anyone want to, uh, wants to hang out over there as well. I heard already a couple of like misunderstandings, but it's in German. Just so you guys know. And there are a couple of offers in game as well. So if you want to support me or like if you're buying them anyway, make sure that you're using a creator code. If you want to support me, it's creator code ITSU. Thank you guys so much. And now let's get started with the first attack. The first attack is going to be on the number eight guy. This is the base of the number eight guy in the world, which kind of surprised me because um, I will do a video about that tomorrow where I show a base of boom. Um, because I, like, I asked him if it's okay and everything and he said sure, go ahead. And he's using a completely different style, so make sure that you're staying tuned for that. But for now, we try to take, uh, we try to take down this base. So let's see if that somehow works. So, first off, Baby Dragon Funnel and then we're trying to charge somehow into the base. So, whenever you're charging into a base with all of those open walls at the corners, you need to search for compartments which are closed and which where you can actually wall break into. And I thought, yeah, this compartment with the um, clan cast and with the uh, dark elixir drill, the, the like this compartment is closed, so I can wall break in this corner kind of with the air defense, with the warden, and so on. You can, as you can see, my first test wall breaker, he's making it. He's luring out the first couple of clan castle troops. It's like three goblins and a headhunter, so pretty classic at this point. So I thought like let's use the poison nice and early because there's going to be a lava hound coming out soon and then just the next rage, the next wall breakers, which are not working because hey, it's not a super wall breaker. And to be honest, this guy completely mind gamed me because there was actually like mass headhunters and a baby dragon in there. That's pretty annoying. Now I have to freeze the scatter shot, otherwise we can't make it through that stupid wall, which is uh, pretty unfortunate. And now there's a lot of damage on my queen. I need to rage. I need to use her ability to somehow that she's staying alive. But we used by far, uh, by now so many troops that the eagle is activating, which is kind of unlucky, I guess, because the eagle is shooting every single healer. So this attack is not starting off good for us. But now there is perfect timing on the left side with a single firm tower and the king, which means the Hybrid troops are tanking for the um, for the Inferno Tower and the King is going in and clearing out all of the buildings. And now I'm using the Headhunter as well. I'm kind of delayed. I can't delay the Headhunter. I could have used it for the King, but I wanted to have it for the Queen for the enemy. And uh, well, the enemy Queen is going to be dead in a second. A couple of Spring Traps are hitting. We need to use the next Shield Spell in the core because there's a lot of damage. And now the next key thing is happening in this attack, which is... The, uh, the royal champion and actually the timer uh, the timing of the headhunters the headhunters I uh, know the hawk riders that's what I wanted to say so the heck hawk riders from the siege barracks are like barely making it in front of the royal champion which means she's not getting targeted by the singing fern tower and we had to use both of our freezes pretty early on so we could not have um, interrupted that inferno tower so the royal champion would have been dead 100% but instead, the Royal Champion is going to be the MVP of this attack and going to finish off everything because, well, our hybrid troops died out at this point. So really good traps on the back end, but barely we're going to make it. So this is going to be the first three-star three star which I wanted to show you guys. And the next one is going to be a funny one because um, normally you guys see always like those crazy charges whenever you have to do um, hybrid. So the next one is a completely different one. Whenever you see this base, kind of accept the free triple because all what you need to do is place your queen on the left, place your king on the right, siege breaks on the right as well, and then hybrid in between. You do not even need to walk or anything pretty long. You just place whatever you have down. You need to make sure that the eagle is actually getting onto your king. So you need to spread out the hybrid in the beginning a little bit. 
that's kind of the, the biggest trick of this because if the eagle is targeting your hybrid early on you need to use the heal spell early on and you will need those spells for the back end this is kind of important the next thing what you're about to do is use the warden ability for the town hall rage the troops into the town hall to make sure that the town is going down fast the expos are going down fast and the scatter shot obviously then into the next heal it's like always like rage into heal rage into heal rage into heal so it's like always this pattern kind of now the next rage and then as soon as the troops are getting through that rage the next heal spell and it's always kind of the same meanwhile the queen at the top side we use one freeze for the enemy queen just to make sure that our queen is staying alive and we do not have to worry about uh, her getting um, taken down but now the hybrid troops are getting into the back end. Normally on this base, people are running like a mass archer CC or th something like that, which is normally better. But the hound should be all right as well because we have so many um, we have so many uh, wizards alive on the right side. Now the war break in for the inferno tower. I found the queen in there, so she's taking the inferno tower out, and this base is wrecked. Like. This is, I guess, the funniest legend base at the moment because you do not need to queen shot at all. Like, you just basically have a funnel queen walk on the outside and that's it. Like, it's, like you do not need anything. And this attack, attack is like a speed run of a, of a three star. It's, it's crazy. So whenever you see this base, accept the three star and be happy, I guess. So the next one is going to be a little bit more tricky. So, um... Over time, bases adapted kind of to the lightning spell and um, have those really isolated clan castles. But with dragging the base out a little bit, it makes it easier for queen charges because there's not this heavy damage or like this heavy hitting damage like um, on those expo farmers. Like, do you remember back then when there were like four expos on top of each other kind of? This isn't possible anymore because of the lightning spell. So... By now, this, the damage kind of spread out, so that's kind of the thing which you have at the moment. So it's queen charges are a little bit easier by that, but at the same time, let's see how easy it actually is. On this one, we used a miner as tank kind of in the beginning, so the queen is not taking any damage because we were not able to use the, the healers right away because of the air defense. And now it's all about getting a couple of different war, break, um, war breaks done. The first one is going to be in the wizard tower and the second one is going to be in the cannon. Those are kind of the key war breaks at the moment for me. Because what this does is kind of gives my queen the possibility to run the entire side and make sure that she's kind of reaching everything on this. And in addition to that, she's going to be able to lure out the clan castle. So what I'm doing over here, freezing the uh, town all pretty classic. Now the queen ability. And since I have normal wall breakers, I need to rage again to make sure that the next wall break is actually working. Because like I said, we need to make sure that our queen is keep going. The next thing what she's going to do is she's going to like wrap around the corner and go for the next building which she can reach, which is going to be the warden. Now it's a bit unlucky like how she steps because now, well, there's the... Um, the Inferno Tower in range, so we have to be careful with that. So I'm starting pretty early with my hybrid, making sure that my queen is going to stay alive because I'm using her ability in a second. And then I have nothing left, like I don't have any freezes left, which means I have to somehow take down this Inferno Tower and my queen cannot reach it. So we have to be careful with that. Queen meanwhile is taking out the next couple of defenses and the Bomb Tower, for example. Now the Sweeper are pushing back my healers to the queen and now they split kind of. So in the middle there are a couple of, like there's one healer, and um, yeah, a couple of other um, things, obviously. Queen on the other side, um, taking down storages. And now I have to kind of decide where to heal. And I decide, okay, let's heal in the, in the middle, like the miners, because I feel like there are more miners than the Hawk Riders left. And well, the Royal Champion is helping the miners, uh, the Hawk Riders anyway. So that should be all right. And now Queen survived as well at the bottom side. And this is going to be the next three star for us. So overall, it's working pretty good right now with the... Uh, queen charge hybrid with normal wall breakers but at the same time it's a little tricky like you need to invest spells sometimes which you normally do not want to use for example the rage on this one for example the freeze on the first attack so overall it's doing pretty well but still my defense is like the huge problem for me at the moment like so far today i'm two out of two yesterday i was 284 which is decent as well but 264 on on defense is uh, kind of kind of rough so it's really hard to like actually get higher on in trophies so either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the couple of nice legend hits over here. And like I said, tomorrow we're going to take a look at a legend base of Boom and see how that works for me in legend. 
and uh, well, let's see how that goes. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys back tomorrow. And remember to tune in today into the qualifier live stream. Is it, if it's not in like in German and it's for me, make sure that you're watching the official live stream because there are many good teams in there and obviously you want to see all of them competing. So thank you guys so much. I will see you guys back tomorrow. Until then, see ya and bye bye.